What did you see on the internet as a child that scarred you for life? Luca Magnotta's videos. Sickening shit. And I was only 10. Seared into my eyes for life. He's the monster who suffocated kittens. And I believe murdered a man with a screwdriver. Close bracket. A guy getting eaten by lions. And a guy who got run over by a tank. I was too young for that shit. IDK if we are thinking of the same video. But I also remember a video of a guy being eaten by lions. And then I looked into it and learned it was fake. Maybe that can offer a little bit of solace. A guy nailing his own ballsack to a chair. It's been 15 years and can still vividly see that in my head. Edit. I had no idea other people had seen this video. Hopefully we can all recover together. Long live the Wild West days of the 2000s internet. BME Pain Olympics. A lot of it was found to be faked. Burned in a lot of people's brains. Fake or not haha. The Russian Hammer video. Don't look it up. Even though I'm sure you can find it on the internet somewhere. It's of these two Ukrainian guys killing a man in the bush they are beating him with hammers and a fire extinguisher. I was a bit naive when I saw it and thought it was fake. That was until I googled it and found out that yep I have just watched a video of a guy being tortured and murdered in a great detail. Came here to see if anyone else had suffered through this. It's the pleading at the beginning and the fact that the old man looks like a fatherly figure to me that makes my stomach flip. There are so many videos I wish I hadn't seen. Also came here to see if anyone posted this. I've seen my share of awful internet stuff, but this one stuck with me. Truly horrendous. I wasn't a child, but the beheading videos coming out of the Middle East shortly after 9 over 11 really screwed up my brain. Yeah. Was it that American journalist, I think, that was beheaded in an orange jumpsuit? That was one of the first true gore scene I've watched, was a young kid. And I literally felt sick and unwell. That gurgling and so much blood. Everything on Rotten. Com. I had to go farther down than I thought I would to find Rotten. Com. Hello. Fellow older internet users. Same. About as far down as I have to scroll to select my birth year when registering for websites. There's a video of a man doing a backflip off a platform into water. But as he flips into the water, his head misses and hits the concrete walkway. He jumped from a significant height. His skull was cracked right open, but you could still see him breathing. He looked like the woman in the movie Midsommar, or to stupor scene. Someone was pressing the two halves of his skull together. I've seen beheadings. Pain Olympics. Horrible things happening to animals and humans. Really horrible stuff to see as a kid tbh. Thank you. It took me months to forgot that video and holy f I can still see it clearly in front of my eyes. That curse bunch and arm ghost jumps ca comic. OMG I'd forgotten about that. Why I I I. Gore18.com awesome shit. I kinda forget the website, but it was nothing but people killing themselves or others. Watched a man get beat to death with a 2x4 cause he was homeless. Pretty fucked up. I was in the it room with some friends once, and one pulled up the website for hate. Com on the school's computers, and showed some videos. One was a guy having his D and balls eaten off by some dogs another was a prison stabbing a final one was a guy killing himself via train. Someone ramming a combat knife in some Russian slash Ukrainian's throat on Lemue I stopped looking for South Park episodes after that one. Oh god. I remember that one like yesterday. The sound. Everything. When I was watching the video I skipped ahead several times and ended up on the part where the poor guy's gurgling on a pool of his blood. The sound it's what got me. Yeah the sound was horrible. Still remembers it. Colon open bracket. The internet became available to the public when I was a teenager. Worst thing for us was the scary face popping out of random videos with loud screaming. Yes, F those videos. The dislike bar is very important for this reason and Yatub is trying to remove it. Stumbled upon a video of a cartel member decapitating a rival with a chainsaw. I was shocked how calm the guy getting decapitated was. Saw a video of a kid dancing. Thought it was kinda cute at first. Then some guys pulled up and the kid looked terrified. Through my broken Spanish I understood they were cartel members. I scrolled down into the comments because I saw one of them pull out a knife or something. Somebody in the comments section explained the little boy was killed because of his father's debt to the cartel. 
I still feel terrible for that boy. Shit. That's fucked up. Targeting kids. Yeah that's what pissed me off. Like the dad owes you money? Take out THD dad. Not the kid WTF. Then he wouldn't be suffering and that's what they want. Death is no punishment compared to losing a child. I was 7 and looked up people dying on YouTube. Scrolled for a bit. And not long. After it was a game of ask and receive. Ironically on ask Jeeves. Ask and rejeeve. A bunch of fake. Which I now realize. Ghost videos. The ones that involved mirrors especially traumatized me. Yeah. I remember watching all of those ghost girl videos of the girl with long black hair over her face and the long white dress. The video where the girl smiles at her reflection and turns around only for her reflection to not turn with her used to terrify me. Very silly nowadays. But it was too much for me to handle back then. That video led to my lifelong fear of mirrors. Same. I can never look into a mirror or looking out a window at night. BME Pain Olympics seeing dudes cut off their penises and smash them with a hammer and nail made me feel kind of messed up. If it helps out the video has been proven to be fake. This just put to rest 13 years of being heavily bothered. Thank you. I don't even care if it's true or not. I'm going to believe with all my heart now that those are fake. Don't worry. Definitely fake. I know it sounds traumatic. But if you can muster watching even 5 seconds. I guarantee you will see what we are talking about. It looks fake as fuck. Years ago when it came out the CGI was just so much worse than it is now. So it looks ridiculous to the modern eye. A car driving down a winding country road. There's a new version with a lane full of backed up cars in traffic and the jump scare is a car honking at the camera. And I laughed pretty good watching it having known the original. I was 12. Some kids at my school found and decided to show to my friends and I. A video where a baby fell from its stroller into the road exactly when a truck was passing by. It just came and went without seeing the baby. The wheel pressed the baby's head, but the street camera was not good enough to make out the details. All you could see was that the head had been deformed, and there was a little puddle of blood around it. But it was the mother the thing that disturbed me the most. She was there buying something at the store. Distracted from the stroller until it fell from some stairs into the road. The mother probably heard it fall because she turned and couldn't do nothing but see how her baby was pressed by a wheel. She cried and yelled and waved her hands jumping into the air and falling to her knees. She would take a peek only to turn and cry and wave some more. It disturbed me. Looked it up when I was at home later and gave it some turns looking at the mother. I would picture my own mother in the woman's place and knowing how protective my mother is. It just puzzled me the kind of horrors that woman had crossing her mind. It definitely left a mark and couldn't forget it for days. This reminds me of a video where a guy jumps from a building but lands on a baby in a stroller while the mom is pushing it. Fucked me up for a long time. One man. One jar. Lol I messaged that guy on fucked. He said he didn't make any noise because his family were in the other room. Ahahaha. <laughs> I thought I have seen some incredibly gory shit. But after scrolling through this post, I think I only scratched the surface. What the f? Keep it that way. Some dickhead linked a live leak video of a guy shooting himself in the head with a shotgun under a Rubik's Cube tutorial. Saw a guy getting flayed by the cartel one time on LiveLeak. Couldn't click away fast enough. The dull knife head removal really got to me. Yeah. I saw one beheading video where they were basically sawing into the guy's neck with a dull rusted machete. Starting from the back of his neck. One of the few videos I could only watch the beginning of. His body starts jerking. Very uncomfortable to watch. It's got to be that video of man shooting himself in the head. Falling backwards on the bed dead. And after a while his dog started eating him. Ah and I'm done scrolling this thread. I didn't seek it out, but my brother and sister were both really into blood and gore. And he found a website basically dedicated to it. He showed me a picture of a guy's crushed head with his eye sockets popping out because he was run over with a car or something. There was no internet when I was a child, but I did watch the Daniel Pearl, journalist beheaded by terrorists, video when it was released and instantly regretted it. The video of ISIS putting a guy in a cage, pouring gas on him. Then burning him alive was also on YouTube for a while, before it got taken down. Equally scarring. 
I think that video scarred me because of how high definition it was. I have usually only seen horrific things in 144p. So it was jarring. Right? I saw a 1080p. High definition slow motion video of ISIS executing some guy with a sparse 12 slug. Left a bigger hole than I expected. Fucked up. Plus. The tank video. IDK if anyone else here saw that. They ran him over. Foot to head. You up. I saw the tank vid. Whole body was just mush. Guy didn't even struggle either. It was so messed up. From what I've read slash heard. They would drug them up. And do a bunch of mock executions. So they really never knew. If it would happen. And if it was they were drugged. Run the gauntlet. I was an adult. Before I had internet. BC I'm old. But goats was probably the first thing. That made me realize I could never trust a link. Lol. That one video of a dude shoving a jar up his ear, and then it breaks. It still haunts me saw it, when I was 6. I wasn't really a kid, but 6 years ago, when I was 18 years old I saw the video of the Charlie Hebdo attacks where one of the terrorists went straight to the cop, who was lying on the ground and cold bloodedly shot him dead. It actually haunted me for quite a while, and changed me a bit to this day. I have the exact same thing. Still think about it now and then. The maze game. It's where you play through a maze with levels and each level gets more difficult then at the end it pops up a scary face with a loud scream. I fuuuuu a king hated screamers. They, well those and stuff like goats, cause me to not trust any link I received ever. I'm a fan of horror and screamer videos to left me up. I don't know who came up with them. But they need a good smack. It's not funny. Never was. You just don't do that shit to people. Edit, I should probably clarify that screamers and stuff that's supposed to horror is fine. But if you decide to put a screamer on a video of like, a cute kitten playing with a toy or something like that, and send it to people, especially those you know can't handle it, you're a jerk. There was a video, from Peter I think, where a raccoon dog got beaten, and skinned alive in a Chinese fur farm. They didn't even have the decency, to kill it after skinning it, just threw it on a pile of other skinned. Dying animals to die of shock. I still remember the way it blinked in pain, after losing its fur. Couldn't do anything else. These are the people, that deserve to be skinned alive. I grew up with Lim Uire. I wanted Linkin Park. I got beheadings and gore. That reminds me I downloaded something off Lim Uire. Back in my early internet years. I believe it was supposed to be a video file of sorts and it was. But not what I intended. Instead it was two dudes booty banging, and it said something like ho ho whoops damn you lim you are. At least you taught me how to clean viruses, because those were rampant as well. The intro to the movie begotten. I don't remember the premise entirely, but it starts out with God killing himself with a knife, by cutting his stomach open and bleeding out. It's filmed in this super grainy, black and white style that makes it feel like it's from the 40s or something. And it was just so eerie and creepy, and disturbing that I had nightmares about it for weeks. Don't know if it would be so scary anymore as an adult, but I'm not about to check and see. I think Begotten was some kind of art house film meant to represent death and rebirth. Beauty from horror, etc. It's basically 2001, Saw, and all the disturbing parts of the Old Testament in one film. For some reason that Scooby Doo Flash game with Velma recreating the faces of suspects spooked the shit out of me when I was like 6. The music and atmosphere were really unsettling there. And also that animated series slash video on YouTube of a devil murdering everyone in really gruesome ways. Yeah. The internet is way more kids friendly now. Oh my god. Memory unlocked. That Flash game nearly scared me to death too. Don't have the link anymore. It's a Mexican cartel execution. Guy is strapped on a chair. Someone comes a cut away his face skin out. Like removing a mask. With the guy still alive and screaming. Without eyelids and lips. A horrendous bloody skull face screaming in pain. I've seen a lot of stuff on the internet. But cartel shit is the absolute most fucked. Through looking for pictures of Pokemon. I wound up at a site called Drew Pickles. Com or something similar. Ick now. The guy from Rugrats. So 11 year old me thought Rugrats and Pokemon? That should be cool so uh. Yeah that site didn't have Rugrats. And it had Pokemon. But they were doing things I didn't really understand for a couple of years. 
Apparently drew pickles, had some weird fetishes. Well they definitely drew some pickles onto those Pokemon. That's for sure. My cousins are psychopaths. They would watch snuff and think it's cool. I glance for one second, and saw a child getting gutted, and I don't know what else. This one guy, who I despise, just put on maximum volume on speaker of a girl crying, while getting screamed at. I wonder why we weren't swatted yet when the neighbors heard that shit weekly. Neighbors, there's two sides to every story. Apostrophe. A man walking on the sidewalk in New York with his child. Minding his own business. Attacked with machetes by a random lunatic. I always keep an eye on my proximity since then. I avoided quite a few car crashes, and an electricity pole landing on me. Due to that video. This. These videos I watched 15 years ago always have me being aware of my surroundings. Two guys shot someone in the head. Then chopped his head off, and kicked it around like a soccer ball. The fucking beheadings. And I wasn't completely a child at 21. But it still fucked me up. I, mistakenly, watched the Czech Nyan massacre at like 29, and I got real fucked up from it. That was the end to my very brief watch people die phase. Was this the Russian soldiers one? Or another Czech Nyan one? I stopped watching stuff like that as well as I found I was fine when I was actually watching it, but later at night I could not close my eyes without replaying it, and it was fucking me up. Thought I was getting desensitized, but instead just needlessly gave myself a load of mental issues lol. A picture where a woman's breasts had what looked like a beehive in them, and now I have the phobia of concurrent holes. If it's the one I'm thinking it was completely fake. The holes were a plant seeds. Oh yeah it was fake. I think it was on Snoops like 2008. Saw a video about the youngest murderers in history, when I was about 8 years old. Couldn't sleep properly for 2 years. And I do still have nightmares. For some reason. Rotten. Com wasn't banned on our school internet. It became like a competition. Who could find the worst thing? That a dogrish. One of those gruesome websites, that showed a guy with his entire head em. Inside a lady. It's been 20 years or longer, and I still remember it. Same. Still remember those ridiculous fake eyelashes she had on too. My dad left his ML open back, when we all had one family computer, and a special room for it, and saw pictures of his secret pregnant girlfriend, while he was still married to my mom. Edit, I've also never told my sister about it, and my dad has never brought it up. The brick going through the windshield. It's the screaming, that is burned into my brain. I always avoided shock sites, because I knew they would mess me up. But I had no idea what the Bang Chandan ghost was, when I came across it, and that left me scared to walk home alone at night for a stupidly long time afterwards. I was about 13. So around 2001. Don't remember how, or why I found it. Just that I did. Chris Farley's death scene photos from law enforcement. Wish I never saw him like that. But it also was the realization that hard addictive drugs are something I would never do. And even when I had a lot of opportunities and pressure. I still never have once, because of those police photos. I don't want my corpse, to be found like that by anyone. It was also the first real dead person I ever seen at that point. So weird I still, can visualize it, almost as if I had seen it recently, but I haven't, since that time and I know exactly how his body was in the pics. My daily dose of feeling old, no internet when I was a child. At least you got to avoid this particular brand of trauma, because damn did it f me up. Internet didn't exist, when I was a child. When it did become a thing. I think I was 15 to 16. And it was bestiality. The lady who stomped on kittens. It made me sob uncontrollably, and I still to this day, more than a decade later, feel physical pain in my chest, when I remember it. To know that there are innocent animals being tortured, and there's nothing you can sew about it is the worst feeling. I wish I never saw that video. I was bamboozled. That predator is real, and it scared me for a while. Very long while. Pain Olympics. A guy cutting his genitals with an axe. Don't search for that. I always looked away when friends showed me those videos so I avoided having such bad memories. I know about most of the videos discussed here, but I don't remember watching them, fortunately. 
I only remember a guy being beheaded with a chainsaw. Really shocking to see the apathy he had, and how he only showed mild pain. Bizarre. There was something I came across by mistake once. A video of a woman in high stiletto heels standing on cat's heads. No idea what I was searching, but never searched it again. A video of some lady stepping all over a puppy's head while wearing heels. It's burned into my mind. I used to download music videos with Kaza. Until one day the music video ended up being chilled porn. I erased all videos and Kaza. Never to download anything again. It really scarred me for life. Weirdly enough was also the thing that made me uninstall Kaza. Can't remember what I was after, but it was a picture of what I assume was a 12 to 13 year old tied up naked to a table. Probably the only thing I've seen on the internet that's actively repulsed me. Admittedly I don't click on links I don't know, and generally have avoided all the gore mentioned in this thread. Deleted instantly. Reinstalled windows and tried to erase that memory from my mind.